Today I'm making orange loaf cake and here are the ingredients that we need. One and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of butter, a half a cup of orange juice, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, and the zest of three oranges. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. I'm just going to get some orange zest here. So I'll zest all of these up and I'll be back. All right, I'm almost finished my third orange. So there we go. There are the three oranges zested. So that's it for this stage. So I'll get my bowls ready and I'll be back. All right, the next step is to take all of our butter and just pop that into the same bowl that you put the lemon zest into. So there we go. And then pop the sugar in. And now what we want to do is we want to cream all of this. So I'll keep going on this and I'll be back when it's creamed. All right, that's good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our eggs one at a time. So we'll get our first egg in. And we'll get that one going. And we'll get our second egg in. Pop that one in. And we'll combine that one. All right, that's good enough. Pop that off to the side. So I'll grab another bowl here and we will get our flour into there. And our baking powder. We'll just give it a little mix. There we go. Now I'm using salted butter. If you're using unsalted butter, throw in about a half a teaspoon of salt into your recipe. If you want to try to cut down on your salt, put a quarter teaspoon. So there we go, that's good. All right. So our next step, is just to combine a little bit of the flour and the baking powder and then just add a little bit of the orange juice and get that mixed in don't go crazy with your mixer just go nice and slowly okay that's good we'll do another addition here. I'll do, I'll do three additions. Sorry, I always seem to talk when I'm slamming down a bowl. Sorry about that. I'll add that in. What you want is to have your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. go and I'll do the last addition and we'll get our orange juice in and that's it so I'll just mix this up here and I'll be back all right 
Just cleaning off my beaters, there we go, perfect. Now, I'll just show you what I did earlier. So I got a little baking pan, I sprayed the inside with pan, and I took a little bit of parchment paper, and what's nice about that is it just makes the parchment paper stick to the inside. So this is going to make it very easy for me to lift out the loaf later on after it's baked. So that's our loaf. I'm going to grab a spatula and I'll get all that in here and then we're going to pop it in the oven for about an hour. So let's get that in here. I'll turn around so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Oh, this smells so good. everything off the spatula all right so here's our cake I'm gonna pop that into the oven for about one hour and I'll be back when it's done alrighty so here is my cake there we go just get it on camera here okay so I baked the cake for a total of 70 minutes. I checked it at an hour and it wasn't quite done so I let it go another 10 minutes and here it is. And here is the um, the parchment paper and you can see we just this thing has been sitting for a while and it's but it's still very hot but I'll just show you. You can pull it right out. Look at that. And there we go. Not too much of a mess in there. Where are we here? There we go. But you can see the magic of the parchment paper. Just lets you bring the, the loaf out really nicely. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this cool for a couple of hours and then we'll cut into it later on. Alright, let's just cut into this and I'll show you what the inside looks like. And there we go. Mm, mm, mm. And the smell is just amazing. So there we go. So that's my orange loaf cake. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it for now so I'll see you next time. Mmm, that is really good. Mmm, mmm, yum. That is a very good cake.